this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And it is time for May's Up Crate. So we are going to open this uh, big boy. Now it feels, well it feels light actually. And I'm not going to shake it. Probably got plenty of shaking on its way here. Alright, so the box is the same design as it was last month. They've gotten rid of a lot of the color on the outside, but it should be on the inside, yes. They have lots of inside, inside art. Plus we have the stickies as well. Not the stickies, the punch outs. Oh, I got, I'm off to a great start. It says, say disco party though. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So let's put this off screen. I'll make sure it's off screen for you too. So the first thing we're gonna do is claw around to underneath of that package and see what all our papers are. Okay, so here's our bottle post. Don't look at that until the end, until I see if there's something wrong with what I've got, or I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, price change, this is not gonna be happy. Starting. World. Okay, what's that? I don't even know what the, they should have put the old by the new because well, they're going to have tracking, but I don't know. I don't know what the old one was, but the shipping is going to be $3 to Canada, so, or three euros, so that's probably $4 Canadian. Well, I don't see it being amazing. All right, so then we've got four sheets of five by seven is around what we usually get. Here's our print, which is really pretty, really nice. Tanya, Tantani. And here we have some stickers by her. And these are really pretty too. Really nice. And it's that matte material, so it's not uh, vinyl like last month's. I didn't like those at all. Okay, so we're going to open up the... I'm going to open up the tissue paper. I just have to... Not looking. Honestly, I'm not looking. You're going to get a peek before I do this way. Okay, let's take her. Did you get a pee? Did ya? Do you know before I do? I don't think you did. Because it's opening up wide. Alright, we've got a few different things here. Okay, well, this is a very tiny thing. Let's take a look at this. This is a Van Gogh paint, which is out of the thing. Okay. Should be in there. So these are watercolors. Okay, good. I have some Van Goghs. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, well here's another one that's in. Okay, and this is what color is this? Where does it say on that one? Oh no, this is rose that I didn't find. This one is transparent yellow medium. So that is yellow for mixing. I'm just trying to find my rose. 
process it. Oh, okay. I got a big box. Let's open this. Oh, Windsor and Newton ink. Ah, like this. I've got some gold and some white, and this is Viridian. Very nice green. Cool. So, ink some watercolors. Still feeling for my rose paint. Ah, here it is. Here it is. It's out. No need to turn off the alarm. Here's my rose Van Gogh. And you know what? I have my, I have my Van Gogh. I have my little tin here that I was just so going to be working on here. Is it here? Oh, here they are anyways. So this is the Van Gogh that I have. I have yellow ochre, turquoise, indigo, Permanent lemon. Let's say Prussian blue. Is that a duplicate? What was that? Indigo. No? Prussian? Oh, that's a. Well, it's not a duplicate here either. That's rose. And that's transparent. Oh, okay, Prussian blue. And. There we go. Cerulean blue. I think that's it. So, <laughs> no duplicates. No duplicates at all. Oh. Well, it's very good. I made a mess of my pile over there, but very good to know that I have rows. And a transparent yellow. All right, so we're gonna have some paint brushes. Oh, a water paint brush. Now, I have to say, I don't like this kind with the pistol. Did it backwards. How do you fill it? Yeah, okay. Well, at least it's got a hole. Some of them have a t used to have a, a teeny little hole in there, but I'll try it. I'm pretty much stuck on the Pentel Aqua Brush no now, though. But I'll try another one. Does it say what brand it is on here? Nope. Okay. And we have. A zero Leonard round. Nice, nice big one. Not going to take the, I'm not going to take that piece off. Oh, okay. There's something big in here is. Grim plus upgrade. Oh, here we go. We get some test paints from Scrim. Isn't that cool? We've got Cosmic Wave, Moon Dust, Atlantis, Raw Gold, and Osiris Red. Let's see. Do these rub off on your fingers? I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing anything rubbing off. So, 
put it that way. You can put these in here. I have a great big mega mega plate that I put, a palette that I put everything in, but uh, this can at least be the home for that. And they give you 10% off your first order if you find yourself liking them and they're not too expensive. So I will not show that code because that is for buyers of this box. Very cool. So we got lots of watercolors. We've got Scrim, Van Gogh, Windsor and Newton. Let's find out about I'm not going to read about everything on here, but This a little starts off by telling us about Scrim and uh, and about her. I want half half pans for the Van Gogh. Okay, so Levis Fauve brush. Le not Levis Lavis Lavis Fauve brushes have been handmade in France since 1779. Synthetic fibers are two tone and held in place by four triple copper bridge. I didn't see that. Oh yeah, they are. I, I just thought that was wood. Ooh, they are. They're fancy. I'm going to have to cut this off because they've got... Ooh yeah, they've got copper tied on there. Very nice. There's a, there's a close-up of one in here but probably doesn't show very well. Okay, the water tank. This Upcrate water tank brush is unlike any other. Okay, so we don't have to fill this up at the tap. What do we do? You can fill it by holding the tip into the water and squeezing the handle which will suck the water into the tank. So we just dip this in my water. Let's push, and now it's sucking up water. Oh, if I hadn't read that, I wouldn't have known that. Good thing I read that. All right, anything else special here? Okay, that's the water tank. And it's just by up crate. Okay, and then it talks about uh, using ink. There's 25 colors. Can be used with brushes and dip pens. Dip pens. And just basically an example of using them there. The paper we've got is St. Cuthbert's Mill. Classic watercolor paper. And the rest of the book is just nifty stuff to know. Now is that like a collage page there? Looks like. All right, so here we go. I'll open that up. Tank. And my two Van Goghs. So there we go. It's all nice and ready for a picture. Ah, uh, I want to put my stickers in there too, but it'll be too big of a picture. Oh well. Maybe if we put them underneath here. Underneath of this lot. And have her sticking up. Sticking up. 
there. So, there we go. Now I have to think and think on what I want to do in watercolor. A complete watercolor page. This is going to be fun. Alright, I'll be back with you and show you what I've got. So here I am. I'm back. I've colored my picture and I used the book Flora by Maria Trolla. So let's get out our supplies again here. Whoops, that got stuck to some paper. And as you can see, it got stuck to the paper. All I have to do is wet the top and that will slide off. Not a, not a problem. So the first thing I did, I'll just put that to the side. The first thing I did is I used the paper to make a palette for my watercolors here. I can pick it up. So there I made a, a palette. I, I traced this card since it fit in there nicely and I divided this up into what the paints look like. Three on top and four on the bottom and labeled them with the colors that they gave us in the bottle post. I'll just keep that to the side. And then I colored this picture. Hmm, it's on the wrong side. Push everything up there. So there we go. I did this page in watercolor. And if I turn it the right way, you should be able to see the sheen on those colors. The pink doesn't have a sheen, so you won't see it on there, but you should see it on all the others. So one thing I'll note is that three of these colors, there was a light blue, um, a kind of galaxy blue, I guess I would call it, blue-purple, and a uh, violet here. And they actually turned out to be silvers, tinted silvers. So we had Cosmic Wave, which is a, a silver light blue. And we have Moon Dust, which is a lilac silver. And then we have Atlantis, which is kind of a um, medium-ish blue silver. Just just a hint more bluish than this one, even though it looks quite dark on there. So I used every single one of these colors. Um, I did it mostly on the flowers, but I did use the dark blue here. These two are matte. I, sorry, these two are matte. I used the dark blue for the butterfly. So got these two paint brushes and I did not use this one because I didn't do a wash anywhere so it wasn't really um, pr didn't really pertain to what I was doing but I did use Upcrate's own brand of water brush and I really really like it um, I may possibly see if Upcrate will sell if I can buy these separately. I know that Upcrate does have a store that you can buy from, but since it's in Germany, I don't want to just order some of these. I'll see if I can order them and put them in one of my Upcrates, though I don't need it right now. But um, I definitely would buy these because they, this is the first time I've ever used a push brush that I liked. I've used one before that was red, and I believe, I'm not certain, but I believe it is a um, Karen Dash one that I've used, the red one and I hated it. This has perfect flow. You just push and off you go and you can color. And so it's got a very long barrel. So I did use that exclusively except for I brought out one of my own very thin round brushes to do the tiny spaces on the butterfly. So the other colors that I used were the Van Gogh. I used the rose for these two flowers right here. And then I used the transparent yellow medium to do my little dots, uh, my centers of my flowers. So they're all little dots, the orange and the, and the dark, bigger ones. And all this green on here was the Winsor & Newton ink in color Viridian. Um, it was really nice. It's a very nice water-based ink. Um, and yeah, it, um, I, had, I had a great time using it. Now, nothing went through on this except for right here. I laid, I touched my brush to the page and I had too much of the ink on it. And so it did 
bleeds through. So wait, let me see if you can see right there. It did bleed through right there. That was user error. The rest of the page is fine. It hasn't bled through at all. Um, if I hold up my page to the light, there's ghosting, but I mean, I'll be able to color this page just fine. It doesn't, not a problem with these paints. And that's everything that I, that's everything that I used out of the box. So everything except for this, this, I did, I used. And uh, I'm okay with it. The scrim paints are acceptable. There's nothing exceptional about them. The three shades of silver I could have done without. One shade of silver would have been enough. Um, they do look different. Like uh, this is the this is the darkest one, the one that kind of looks like a galaxy blue. This is the um, lilac one, and this is the light blue one. The color of the paint. It's not. If you just look there, you can see the you can see the shimmer. And when I do it this way, hopefully you can see the little bits of little bit of lilac in that bottom one there in the shimmer. Uh, so yeah, they were fine. The Van Gogh paints are um, are good as they always are. Um, you can get them pretty pretty opaque, not not totally because they're watercolors, but they do come do come out quite opaque if you use a little water with them. And that's all I really have to say about the supplies. So I'm, I was pleased with it. Not, not, nothing wrong with it. Not the greatest, but um, certainly not a bad box. It, it, it was a good one. I enjoyed it. Um, and that's all I have to say, which I think I've said twice. <laughs> so I'm going to finish speaking. So until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.